Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. Well, clearly you can see that I'm in a hotel room. I've taken a trip, seems a few trips, a couple of plane rides, a few car rides, and 14 hours later, I'm here in this hotel room. Is it Italy? No. Switzerland? Not so much. London? No, not this time. You see, I'm in Arkansas. Now, Arkansas is a state in the United States. I know, I'm as surprised as you. I haven't heard Arkansas since I was in elementary school. Something about the Ark of Kansas, I don't know. It's, it's considered the, um, the nature state or the natural state because it's undeveloped. But amidst all the trees and the truck stops here, there is something else in Arkansas. You see, we're here to visit a very special place, a place where James Bond is outfitted with, I'll call it the tools of the trade, but sometimes video and pictures speak louder than words. All right, so I'm traveling down the highway in Arkansas, and uh, Caleb, where are we heading to? Fort Smith. Fort Smith, is that is that in the Ozarks? I mean, we're in the Ozarks, and we're kind of heading to the, the end of it. That's why they're, they're hills, not mountains, but they call them mountains. I don't think too hard about it. Look at this. We look like G-Men with the, uh, the aviators on. By the way, look at me go. I, I'm, I'm not just being driven by this uh, gentleman right here. Caleb, you got to introduce yourself. Yeah, uh, Caleb Daniels, or Commando Bond on Instagram. That's where you know him. That's where Commando you know Bond. Me, All right, and... and what you're going to see is, and I've, I've kind of kept it a little bit of a secret until we get there, but we are heading to a very auspicious place. I have taken planes, trains, and automobiles to get here because there's a reason it's here, and I'm going to enjoy the mountains. There isn't a lot around here, is there? No, not a whole lot, but it's the natural state, so there's some pretty beautiful scenery and some really cool people that we're about to go meet. That's right. Now, we have tried... A couple things when I got here, I was starving. We tried barbecue. There were ribs and chicken and pork. An aggressive amount. An aggressive amount. <laughs> and it looks like we finished it, but um, maybe not the best barbecue we've ever had. No, I mean, I'm from Kansas City, so not to sound like snobby, but not bad. Serviceable barbecue. Yeah. But this morning, people. we had really good coffee at Absolutely, Onyx. Absolutely, yeah. So we're fueled up. Ready I got the rock and roll. I got the meat sweats last night. I mean, we're on exit number 007, so I mean, if you're not going on a bond trip, it just works out that way. The number follows us like the plague. It is like the plague. All right, don't say that in Arkansas. So we are <laughs> going to head, and we'll see you at the end of our journey. Talk to you then. Well, they say it's the journey and not the destination that really matters. Uh, yeah, those people haven't traveled 14 hours through Arkansas to get to this place. Uh, but here I am, and truly the destination is the thing that we're talking about today. We're here at Walther Arms. Yep, take a look here, folks. Here's the signage to prove it. And we're gonna go visit the people and the very place where they make James Bond's major tool of his trade. Let's go check it out and see it in all its glory. gun barrel out of us. Um, it, it comes to us rifle down that hole and uh, beautiful. All right, ready? Yeah. Okay. And uh, 
then from there I take it and put it in this uh, lathe and it'll uh, it'll turn it into this ah. so just the house name we call it a lollipop of, okay. amazing and then from there that's getting it ready for the meals And what's happening in here? So that is cutting the lollipop, that big edge, and it's turning it where it can, uh, it's cutting it to where it can fit into the, the slot. Looks like a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's um, on that coolant spraying on the end mills, those drill bits in there. equator. It'll go through and uh, do a lot of measuring on it. I can throw a part in there so you can get it in. Really get it Good, yeah. I'll just run a, a master on it. halfway and put it in with pumper. And that just kind of rubs up the metal a little bit, get it ready for the blackening process. Makes Makes all any if there's any uh rough edges on mm -hmm. it. This is the you're ready to go through the next uh, and then they're ready to go. So lest you thought it was a simple process, there's a lot that goes into it. All right, we've got a real treat in front of us. First of all, I'm here with Luke. Luke, good to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And yes, I'm getting all the Star Wars reference here, but he's going to be my Obi-Wan, my Yoda, to walk me through the building of a Walter PPK. Not just any, this is going to be mine. So I've picked out certain things, but Luke's going to help me to actually build this. There's a certain intimacy when you build your own gun, isn't Absolutely. there? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think it does a kind of create a new emotional connection to it as well? Oh yeah, you're gonna fall in love with this gun even more. And it's, yeah. A lot of promises, I can't wait though. All right, let's get right to it. All right. Walk me through this. So this is the frame, this is how we get them in. So if you go ahead and grab it, we're gonna go ahead and do the first step. We got the hammer block in there, so okay. we're gonna go over here. So this is your sear and popping piece. You see how you've got the edge right here? Yes. You're gonna fit that right there in that kidney bin shape. Push it all the way through and you're going to wrap it around. All right, so it's going to be like this. Yep. And... So you want to angle it? Oh, I see, I see. So it's got to like... Look at this. Did I do that right? Yep, so go ahead and push. So you're going to have that on this side. They're going to kick me off the line in a second. Watch this. 
Am I doing it right? Yeah, you want me to show you real quick? Yeah. Take it back out. I'm going to be doing that a lot. Like, it, am I doing this right moments? So this could have been shape. Turn it to the back. Oh, you did it a little twist. Yeah, a little twist. Continue back around like that. Oh my gosh. And then you're going to fit it right there. Got it. Oh, you're going to make me do that. All, All right. right. Yeah. All right, so like this. Yep, now twist it back around. Now twist you. it. Now push it all the way through. Push it all the way through. All right, why, why are we stuck? Oh, got it. No. Nope. So I, I got it locked in there. There you go. This is like a Rubik's Cube. Then bring, bring it up. Yep, so you want your these holes to align? So these holes. Yes. Put the holes in the frame. Done it. Woo. Next, Woo. you're going to take your rivets. All right. You're going to place one on top. So I keep it flat? Correct. All right. Now with this rubber mallet. What do you think? Oh, it's it's loose. Yeah, we just want to get it started. We will use this press um, after we get this bottom of it seated as well. I just want to make sure this doesn't fall out. All right. Okay. We'll do the same process. All right. Okay. Doing that Tap for the camera. Yeah. Oh wait, does it matter what side? Uh, we want to use the rubber side. This side. Yes. And now we're going to point the muzzle towards the right. And now we're going to slide the magazine wheel under there, top side of it. Uh, so you're, you're going to go right here on the express. Oh, I see. It's built specifically to hold that. Yes. And now that we're here, ah. we're going to pull this down. Until it, it'll stop, you'll feel like it's firm. And then go ahead and finish that click. Go up. Do it one more time. On the other side? No, we'll keep it on the oh, same side. Oh, just do it. Just, just do it. So we're oh. in. So sometimes you just have a little bird from the factory, from the supplier. So we'll just have to give the quick bird, uh, deep bird anyways. So now that we're at this point, go ahead and wiggle your frame. Uh, just wiggle it? Yep. And you want to hear that cocking piece move. That way we know it's not too tight and we're going to be able to have proper function when it comes to installing. Seems like it. What do you think? Uh, yep. Yeah. Sounds good. So this part, if they have a frame, it's easier to help show it. So I'm going to take this down real quick. As much as we think this is a simple device, there's some complexity to it in putting it together, clearly. Trick bars in there tight, so that's why I kind of want to show you as we walk through the okay. process. This part is what slows people down the most when they're starting to learn it. Uh, this part is all about fill. So, so if you grab a trigger bar from here. Cody, why don't you swing around? Uh, Cody, Caleb, why don't you swing around here? All right, so trigger this one? Yep, so you can grab that trigger bar. See how it has this hook? So Wait, do that again. This hook on the Yes, end. yes. So we're going to take this, slide it. See this little notch in the frame? Yep. We're gonna go in there, but then back out. Oh, I see it, right we there. We wanna stop it right there. We wanna hold it kinda of like this. Uh, I think I can do this. There okay, yeah. So now, we're gonna have to knock this back out. So we wanna keep it in this stage. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. It's coming. How much further out do you want it? Uh, Almost all the way on the all right. top part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It'll make your life easier. Yep. I'm area. all about making it easier. Oh wow. Do you have like a little? Yeah. So we can come in this back side. And just kind of push it. Turn it over for me real quick. All right. So that, that's a good, that's a good place right there. Okay. So now you're gonna grab your trigger. Yeah, my trigger. So it's got this hook on the top of the screen. Mine doesn't have a hook. I chose the one that go. didn't have the hook. <laughs> so now that we're there, you're going to feed in through the bottom. And you're going to kind of twist up. That hook and that spring needs to go inside the slot on the bottom of the trigger bar. Uh, okay. So right here, if you look at mine real quick. Oh, I just brought that out again. There you go. Yep. So there's that little slot right there. You want to put that spring in there. 
Oh wow, that's, oh my gosh. That is, yeah, I got it. Okay, and now you're gonna push the trigger bar down while pushing the trigger up. So there's a knot in the boss on this other side of the trigger bar. That needs to slip down inside the trigger. While pushing the trigger? Yes. Oh my gosh. Is this just to show me how difficult this is? <laughs> Most difficult part. I am definitely not gonna quit my day job. Oh, hold on a second. All right, let me, so I'm gonna get it up in there. Yep, and now you're going to push your trigger up while pushing your trigger bar down to the needle. Did I do it? Uh, you did not. Is that alright? That's fine, yeah. We're, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how many times I ask for assistance. It's going to be a lot. <laughs> so, we'll go in right here. Yeah. Springs in that slot. Push the trigger up. Push the trigger bar down. Made it together, slide, push up, and now we're in. Oh, okay, so wow. we're gonna hold it like this, trigger bar pin, into the frame. Now you're using the yellow side. Now I am, yeah. All right. we, we have more resistance on this. We'll make sure it's sub flush on both sides. So now your trigger's in, so now just go ahead and give it a couple of pulls. It should move freely. Oh yeah. So we're good on that. Wow. Because I destroy everything. The next stage, we're going to put in your hammer. So what you'll do is you'll hook this. See, that's kind of got the uh, little lip on it. Yep. You put it underneath like that. Like and that? Yep, just like that. So now we'll come up here. These are the release piece. This is what helps take off the gun. So give me one there. Okay. See, it's got kind of the beak in. There's a slot right here in the frame. You'll slide it in. Oh boy. Oh, right here. Yeah, right there. Okay. So this is your hammer bolt. This is, is this what's going to hold that together. Is this thing peak up or go down? Yeah, it peaks up. All That's right. perfect. And then you'll just take your hammer bolt. I line through these two holes. And you'll see we have a little nipple at the top right corner of it. Oh yeah, I see the nipple. So line it up? Line it up and push it all the way through the frame. Uh, it's not sitting flush. Okay, so with the rubber side of this mallet, yep. just give it a couple of light taps. Okay. A little, little more flush? A little more flush. Now we're going to put Are you shooting and eye. videoing? This is not going to turn out well. Do you have good faith? I do. So this is your mainspring guide. You can see right here, we're going to feed it up through here. How did you position that? Oh, like this. Yep. Just feed it up into here? Yep. That's oh. how it's going to go. First, we oh, okay. put the spring on. So there's you the spring. Second one. No, right here. Oh, jeez. The okay. other one rolled underneath the... So tank. put it on here? Yep. So it's going to go on like this. Feed this up. And then we'll use this tool right here. We'll depress the spring. Oh my gosh. Push up and then down to lock it in. This is going to go badly. This could take an eye out. I'm just warning people behind me. Is this supposed to go farther up into the... Yeah, good idea. By the way, kids, focus on me. Seriously, this is all about safety here, so smart move, especially when the spring comes flying back. Is that up in there good enough? Yeah, so uh, pull your hammer forward a little bit. Okay. So what will happen is when you put your main screen guide in, we have this rope pin right here. This goes in like that. Okay, and that's so, yeah, so pretty that much it? Feel, you will feel a lot of resistance. Um, it's about a 20 pound spring. So. By the way, we are keeping track of how many times I just have Luke take over. This is like number eight. 
in a three-step process. Okay. See how it's sitting there. Yes. This tool. Push up, get it out. Perfect. You want me to take it out? No, okay. you did such a great job. Are you kidding? I would like this to be a co-op effort. This <laughs> okay. should be by David and Luke. Yeah, I like it. You right? Yeah. yeah. So now we're going to test the trigger function to make sure we got the trigger seated and the seated properly. Okay. So since we don't have the back strap on it yet and the main spring guide's here, this is how I recommend holding it. And I'm just going to pull back. I'm going to put it in single action, test it in single action. Okay. We're going to do that function shuck again with the grips on. But so just like to have pull the trigger? Clean. Yeah. And don't put my finger by the spring, right? Yeah. Or my... That'll, that'll pinch you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to go install the trigger guard. So we'll pull this back. So you'll go ahead and insert the frame into here. So it'll sit down in here like this. We'll grab your, safe, or your magazine release. And you'll install the spring. Oh my gosh. Does this get harder? I think this is getting harder. We're, we sh well, we should be through the hard stages. Oh. The trigger is the hardest. Um, if you look at the spring, you can barely tell, but there's a little skirt on one end. I see it. So that end's going to go down into this hole in the magazine release. <laughs> Wait, so it's it's this end. I got the correct end, right? Yes, correct. Good. And it's going to go down into there. Yep. Folks, this is why you can't have a robot do this. All right, like that? Yep, that's correct. So now we're gonna grab this spring right here. This is your um, plunger spring. Okay. And you're gonna grab this. Oh my gosh. You'll install the spring on top of this shaft. Like so? so? Like that. Yeah. And next you'll insert the magazine release into this hole. This right here? Yep, so spring facing downwards. Uh, sorry, so the spring is facing downwards. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter like which... It does, so if you look on the back of the frame and you look at the uh, back side of your magazine release, okay. the main shape. Can you tell me if I have it in the right... So, um, yep, you're going to need to turn it towards you. Yep. Okay, insert it in. And now twist it with your thumb until it falls through the hole. And then once it falls through the hole, you want to keep it depressed. There you go, so now press downwards. Okay. Now turn it towards me. And then press down. So... Did I get that right? Yeah, you just have to... I can't tell if the spring is still in there or not. Oh, uh, yeah, it's So once you're there, you're going to keep pressure on that magazine release. And then just rotate it slightly until it falls back towards you. Yep. Crap flat again, just okay. uh, drop it back in the fixture, grab you a trigger guard that's right here, and we'll insert it into the fixture like this. Alright. I'll let you do that. Okay, here we go, here we go. Just you like that. push that flat, and now you want to slowly push this press up. And then continue to press. <laughs> yes. Oh, there you go. There we go. So now you can let go of, whoop, uh -oh. push that back through. Now you can let go of your magazine release. Okay. Keep this pressed. Yeah, keep that pressed. You okay. should be able to let go now. Should have enough tension. Okay. So we're going to take this dog bone pin. Doesn't yep. matter which side you put it through. Okay. So we're just going to drop it into there. Do I need to? Uh, Yep, so we got this nylon tip punch right here. Yes. We'll use that. We'll use the uh, plastic side of the hammer. Okay. Uh, it's okay if I'm... Yeah, I can move this way. All right, thanks, man. Oh, that went right through. Okay, keep going. Oops. Should it be flush? Yeah. Uh, sometimes these are pretty hard to get through. Okay. So now when we go to take this out, 
slightly pull back on this lever. Just slightly, okay. Yeah, because now it's connected to the fixture in the frame as well. Okay. So that's good. When you go to pull it out, put your thumb right here on your uh, trigger guard. Yeah. And you're going to slightly move back and forth to pull it out. That keeps the trigger guard from coming up and smacking the frame. And... There you go. Yeah. So now pull down on your trigger guard a few times. Make sure that it pulls down and returns. It does? Trigger, trigger guard right Oh, here. sorry, sorry. This piece? Yeah. This is what happens when you have a novice. Okay. Okay, so we're good there. So now we're going to visually inspect the frame at this point. Make sure that uh, there's no scratches, no nicks. If there is, we'll clean it up on the buffer wheel. But we'll go over. See, we got this right here. See if that's just fixture wear, just a little bit of residue, which we'll clean these up at the end of the process too. Um, if we have these scratches, and this is your gun, so go through it as detailed as you want. All right. And then also at the pack out that you'll see, uh, we have Tanya working over there. She's excellent at touching these guns up, getting in the uh, scratches or burrs, marks out of them. I mean, it looks pretty good to me. Okay. So now we'll move over to installing your slide, your slide stop, and your grips. So, first stage, we're going to take your slide stop. See how it has this uh, spring right here? Yeah. If you look, if you turn, you rotate your frame on this way. So right here, you can see in there that's that recessed part. I do see it, yeah. Okay. So you'll take that spring, press it there, and then push up and rotate Swing it over down to that hole. Okay. So into that little crevasse. Yep. Swing it up. Push through. There we go. Okay. So now that was the best thing I ever did. <laughs> the only good thing I've done. So go ahead and grab you a slide from. Okay, it doesn't matter what. Yep, whichever one. That looks like a good one. Then you'll grab this recoil spring. Yes. So tight in, loose in, tight in goes over the barrel. Okay. And so what if it doesn't fit? Uh, just you'll just rotate it back and forth and it'll go. Oh, it's got captured it. captured on that end. Oh, there we go. Okay, now that we're this stage, pull your trigger guard down all the way. Um, I'll show you the best way I do it. Okay. Because you're also going to have to slide and put your slide on. So I'll hold it like I'm going to be firing with my thumb. I'll stick in here. I'll pull it down. I'll wrap my middle finger around. Ah. And just use it to stop. Smart. I'll grab the slide. You want to start it at a 45 degree angle, pull it all the way back, press down, and then it'll go forward. This is where it goes flying through the wall. <laughs> Just get ready to catch it. All right, so I got my middle finger all ready. I'm going to stick it in there, like so. Um, I'm going to do a 45 degree angle, slip it in there, push it all the way back, and then let it go. Just like that. It's already starting to look really pretty, by the way. It's a pretty gun. It's a good looking gun. It's a handsome gun, just saying. It is beautiful. It is. So now we're going to grab a left grip. Okay. And a right grip. Yep. And you'll just put them on like this. Left side will go on the left side of the frame, right side, right side of the frame. And then you'll run a screw to the right side of the grip. All right. Okay, so left side. Left side first. And it just amazing that I've never done this before. So bring it back, there you go. Like that? Yep. Now turn it over. See folks, I am a novice and I'm still putting this together. Amazing. So, so I can already see an issue if you turn it over. Oh it's right. it's askew. There you go. Okay. And then flip now, it back over. Flip it back right over. The right side. You got it. 
Is there a particular reason why? Uh, for... No, not really. Okay. It's, just, it's just how the supplier made them. Got it. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, So now you'll take your red screwdriver. This one? Yep. And tighten it. Just get it hand tight. We don't want to put a lot of torque on it to crack, uh, crack the grips or anything like that. So now that we're here, we're going to do a functions check okay. on the entire assembled firearm. So now it's assembled, I'll walk you through it and I'll let you do it. The chamber's empty. I always want to make sure the chamber's empty. Yep. So we're going to fire the gun in single action, hold the trigger to the rear, rack it, single action fire it. We're going to do this three times. Then we're going to cock it to the rear again. We're going to move the safety piece down. It should stop about halfway through the red. It did, it got decocked, and it went to safe mode. Uh, that's just kind of how we can ensure before we go fire that it's going to drop safe. Got it. All right, so we want to check the chamber, make sure there's nothing in it. It's all right. Yeah, nothing in it. Um, so I'm going to dry fire it once. What am I doing wrong? Crap. Oh, i got to ratchet it. Do it again. And now do it and lock it. Yep. So, there you go. And right. now we're going to do the, the function for the safety check. Just bring it down to safety. Yep. Okay. So at this point, now we're going to put it in the breakage station. Breakage station. Yeah. So what this will do, a break in breakage break in. station. So we'll take it off safe. We'll place it right here. And then if you want to slide that closed. So what this does, it'll run it through double action, single action, and decock the gun 10 times. Oh, wow. Sorry. Ah, that's crazy. What is it checking for right now? Uh, right now, it's just trying to set in the release piece uh, in the springs, trying to get everything set before we go test fire. Now, all the metal and metal surfaces, we just want to make sure nothing gets caught up. Okay, so now we're good to slide it. And then just go ahead and pick it up, just hit the magazine release. And bring it on out. So now you're going to put the hammer in single action. You can do it just by cocking your thumb. We'll put it, so this is a 3.5 weight. So what we'll do, we'll hold the gun like this. We'll put it on there and just lift straight up. It shouldn't go off. Uh, that, that's how we know the trigger's not too loud. Okay. Nice. And now we'll do the same exact thing on this weight. This one's 6.5 pounds. Ah, oh, that's great. And then we'll do it one more time now that it's in double action. We'll put it on this one and it should go off. This one's 17.5 pound trigger weight. So, do I need to cock it or no? No, muzzle needs to be facing vertical. There you go. Pick up a little. So your double action should be firing right now. So your trigger weight is above 17.5 pounds in double action. <laughs> so what we'll do, so we're going to note that, and then when we go test fire it, we'll check it again to see okay. if it got loosened during the test firing. So now we'll lock this to the rear. Put a chamber flag in. 
drop the magazine. I need to check uh, headspace. Headspace gauge. Just slide that into there. Slowly release that. You see how the slide's not protruding backwards? Yes. So that means we're good on headspace. Okay. Part. So this is the system that we use to document when guns are built. So if you want to enter in your first and last name onto that, ah, assembly tech. Cool. So now you're going to the Walker's database officially built. So put my name in? Yep. Oops. Oops. Of course I just got rid of the... So David... How do I make a capital Z? <laughs> No, it's all right. Oh, uh, you might have just have to hold the button down. Hmm. Should be able just to do a capital. I keep getting rid of your. What have I got? I destroyed it all. <laughs> it's all right. Pull it right back up. I don't know what it's not. It's right there. Isn't that crazy? Oh wait, there we go. You did it. Okay, so then hit the item number. And you see the scanner? We'll scan this item number right now. Uh, 479 6001. You can scan it. Oh, great. Okay, so it automatically ah. taps the serial number. If you notice, we have a QR code next to the serial number. Yes. If you scan that, it'll pop up in the system. Sometimes you might have to angle it just a little Oh, okay. There might be a little bit of oil that you need to rub off. Come on, you. Oh! Okay. So it passed all of our inspections, so we're going to hit pass. Next. Submit. And then submit another response. I just close it up for the next guy behind you. So that number will go up once it refreshes. Instead of 41, it'll be 42. So that gun is in our system. Wow, absolutely fantastic. And now, now we'll go shoot it. Amazing. Well, and, and by the way, I've, I've now heard that the manufacturer that we just went with Luke of this gun, I am number six to ever do this, which is incredible. I'll consider it like a 006. Alex Trevelyan type? I don't know. But amazing. Thank you so much for doing this. No this was great. Luke, everybody. So cool. So we don't have to hold it with our hands when we shoot proof rounds. The proof rounds are 35% um, above pressure than uh, plus B plus. And why, Luke, could you go over just for the video, why do you do a proof round? Yeah, we do proof rounds to make sure that we don't get any stress fractures in the barrel, make sure we don't miss anything in the manufacturing of the barrel, the frame. Uh, it's just a safety thing. We go above and beyond about safety. Uh, make sure the consumer gets a great product. So amazing. We want to make sure it handles all the ammos that we recommend. Love it. That's a good idea, actually. We got the PPK up first. You're up first, David. Everybody, eyes and ears, okay? Yep. Nope. So that is hot and ready to go. So we're going to step back and we'll press that green button twice. Twice? Yeah. We have now proof tested that gun. Amazing. I have a tear in my eye. We'll take it out. It's alive. Alive. I was going to go for the Phantom Menace. It's working. It's working. <laughs> Well, that's your keep, generation. Just to keep it the loop, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you already did the Star Wars reference once. Should I? Yes, yeah, so point into the yeah. trap as you, as you go, bracket. And you'll have to take it off safe. 
The first pull is going to be the heavy double action pull. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.